your first time. Okay. It's okay. Don't forget your thumb. It's okay. Just this way. Janine and Sarah have been doing so well. They're uh, both my students, but something that we've been doing on piano together is uh, not only have we been learning how to read notes, we've also been learning how to write our own music using the chords that we learn and the scales we learn. So, that's a pain, sorry. <laughs> but she's gonna play for us one of her very own original songs, so give her a <laughs>
Give it a hand for him. Sometimes we all get nervous, but I'll, I'll tell you one thing, Ian is an awesome uh, piano student. We had a ton of fun mm -hmm. lessons together, so give it up for Ian one more time. Classic, classic rock. Here it is. Uh, e, 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 I guess. Is e? that the right. 12th fret? That's the 12th yeah. fret. Oh, yeah, 12th fret. Cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
is trying to grab you or hurt you in any way, what was that? Do you guys have any ideas? Anyone want to guess? Run. Run. Run away. It's a good Run. guess. Run away. What, what did we learn, guys? And twisting arms. Right, but Tiffany was right. She got it. Running away was the first thing. We didn't practice that. <laughs> Running. I didn't want them to run away. But we also learned kicks and punches and getting away from grabs and chokes. So Lauren's going to demonstrate um, the knees, right? That's what you wanted to do. So this is what we do if we're in very close encounter and someone's trying to grab you. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Very good. And where are you kicking? <laughs> good, Lauren. Very nice. And Lauren also was really good at her punches. And this one is called Hammer Fest. So let's do that. Good. Very good. Wow. Nice. Do you want to switch hands? <laughs> Show them your, very good. And where are you aiming that? The face. Good, yeah, we're aiming right to the side of the head. Thanks, Lauren, everyone. Thank you. And all of these girls had just the strongest kicks I've ever seen. Practically broke my knees. And uh, Reese is gonna demonstrate the front kick Front for kick, us. is that like the, oh, okay. Very good. Oh, that was Keeps her hands up. That's awesome. Very nice. And where are you aiming for? Uh, they're uh, their uh, knees. Their knees, their knees. Their knees. Yeah. right. Because that's a pretty weak area. Very good. So this is Thank you guys for listening. Yeah.
second chance. Thanks for listening, guys. Day has been a, a new beginning for something, and um, it's been something greater, a lot brighter than what I've imagined my future is going to be. And uh, I found the reason. And um, this past past few months, we've been praying about um, doing mission trips. And um, my wife uh, saw this uh, organization that um, in Thailand that deals with uh, child tra trafficking there. And um, she's going to talk a little bit about yeah. it with you guys tonight. So, yeah, we feel like um, God really opened the door to this ministry. And so we get to go there for almost two weeks and work with Zoe International, which rescues children from child trafficking in Thailand. And they bring these children into safe homes where they receive education and um, all the care they could ever need. And so it's just a really awesome organization and we're really excited just to see what's going to happen and see how we can just bless the kids there who've been hurt and um, have lost everything. And so that's what we'll be doing. And thank you to Darwin for letting us just share this. And we hope that you'll just pray for us. And um, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys can uh, share this with um, everybody because, you know, Thailand, they say 1% of them uh, that knows Jesus. And there's like 99% more people, uh, kids out there and, and adults that need to know the true love of God and what He can do in these organizations and through these organizations. So we just want to share that with all of you. And um, if you guys could share and pray for us as we move, uh, as we go there for this mm -hmm. mission trip. Okay, thank you. He's not going to get up. He's going <laughs> to talk about things. Um, but what we really want to share is what God is doing in this place and where God is leading us in this place and where he has. And um, so I want to share a song with you guys. But before that, I just wanted to give you like a, a recap of, of what, what we have been doing these past four years in Brooklyn, these four, uh, four or five years. Um, this is actually almost our fifth year. In um, 2011, um, um, I came to Brooklyn and uh, we started in the basement with two kids, uh, five blocks that way. And so the D in DG Rockers, it doesn't stand for Darwin. Um, <laughs> if you thought it was all about me, it's not. Um, it stands for Dorcas, and Dorcas was, is the Dorcas Center, uh, five blocks that way. And they do a lot of amazing work, uh, mainly with um, a lot of uh, uh, immigrant Chinese uh, uh, families. And I, I, I was just volunteering my time there uh, in the basement, on two kids. Two kids became like 50 kids. And we had so much fun, 2011. And so Dorcas was a woman in the Bible who, um, uh, who, who sewed. And she was someone who supported uh, what God was doing in this in in the world in in, in the past. And so um, we continue to do that. Uh, this is some of our, um, my kids, my guitar students, um, in 2011, which is like five years ago. Um, two years later, we started a small studio across the street next to the barber shop, um, right across the street. And there we taught music, and we love what we do. But most of all, most important to me, is what we call Friday Fellowship. And youth in the neighborhood, they come, and they, uh, and, and we, have, um, we have food, we have games, and we have all these things. And most of all, we want to share Jesus with them. And we want to know, they, I want, we want them to know that they are loved. That they are loved, that the lies in this world is, are, don't listen to those lies in this world. Listen to the voice of truth, because you are so loved. You guys are so loved by God. And this was our first studio, and um, it was just a room. It was like half the size of this room. And so just, you know, I think you guys heard the story before, but here are some, some pictures. But one of the first things we ever did was to have that Friday youth group. Um, a couple of years later, uh, 2016, three, four years later, we had our spring concert here. And some of you guys were here. And so we moved into this giant space that we have. And um, it's exactly one year since we moved into this this bigger space, actually, September 1st. And one year ago, God led us to, to this just bigger space. And um, one of the first things we did um, was not even business, was not even something that we charged for, um, because we believe that God is going to provide us with everything. And we had um, uh, what we call the Draw Change Art Program. So every Saturday, we had kids come in and just do art um, totally for free. And it was so amazing. Um, we had um, 
a free kickboxing class that Coach Ken teaches here. And we teach these boys um, kickboxing. And it's so awesome to see um, one of the young kids that were here um, was just, uh, you know, the, these kids, we love them so much. But teenagers, like, they come in with some attitude sometimes. Like, what is this? Like, three, four months later, Darwin, can I help you vacuum the floors here? Darwin, can I fix up the bath for you? Darwin, can I help you with this and that? And my heart just breaks. Like, and it's like all that we do is all worth it. It's all worth it to build this place so that um, these kids could have a home. This place that you're sitting in is a home for a lot of kids in this neighborhood. And um, the business that we have or the money that comes is really to support what we do. And it's so amazing to see the changes in, in these young men and that we uh, are able to, um, to serve these young people. Um, every Friday of uh, this past year, we had um, our dance teacher, our Zumba teacher, Jesse, come. And we have um, Friday Fellowship. And um, every Friday, we have a great time. And we try to follow Jesus in the best that we can. And we want to love on our students. And more than teach music, we want to teach with love. Because without love, it means nothing. Um, and so we had, I know there's a lot of slides. <laughs> we have a lot of slides. Um, we had a friend, Dan Gray, um, who is a skateboarder. And he, he came this past summer. And he just came to speak to us. And um, what he does is he has a ministry that goes out to the skate parks. And so we spent the summer um, uh, passing out gallons of water in Owl's Head Park to just young people. Some people, some of these young kids, um, are, uh, some, some, some are uh, living a life of drugs, living a life of, of being in gangs. And, and we got to just pray with them. We got to just share Jesus with them. And we got to just share hope and speak life and speak truth into their lives. And so um, that is the past summer. Um, you've seen uh, our girls self-defense class. Give it up once again for Rachel Engel Chow, everybody. Um, every Thursday um, in the summer, we had a free um, girls self-defense class here. Um, um, Rachel, we're all very multi-talented. She's a black belt in judo, and uh, she's our art teacher. She's a musician. Oh, oh okay. I'm a brown belt in she's a brown belt. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, Ken is our amazing uh, kickboxing teacher. Um, we had an amazing time this past summer, and I hope that uh, all the girls did too. Uh, that they can uh, learn self-defense. They can learn a skill, and they can also learn um, at the same time how much God loves them in, in, in this place. And, um, so in the future, um, in the past, uh, we, we actually uh, we wanted to go out to, uh, we went out to the elderly homes in the, uh, in the uh, uh, neighborhood to sing and to just bring music to these senior citizens. Sometimes a lot of people, their children don't even care about them anymore or they just do not even. So in the future, we're, we're actually working with the Norwegian Christian home and we're actually gonna, um, hopefully if, uh, you know, it's God's plan to go just share music on a consistent basis uh, with a very small amount of just room to room, not like something big or anything, but just to consist consistently be serving um, God in, in, in this place. Um, and so uh, God has been really good to us. Um, and um, I just, I don't know why I love this picture. Uh, it is a picture of us uh, every Christmas and every Thanksgiving. We have we make dinner for kids in this place, and even in our old studio when it was half the size of this room, we had a table that was on the floor. And I think some of you guys seen this before. I just want to share with you guys um, that, uh, and we would just uh, have dinner and, and just pray. And uh, that table is just the bench that we have over there. It's it's blue now. We painted it blue, um, and we just sit on the floor because we didn't even have any seats. And to think that in three years, we have these amazing <laughs> folding tables and actual chairs to sit in. And last Christmas, um, we had like 30, 25 kids come in here and we had Christmas dinner together. Um, how amazing is that in three years that we came from just, you know, and it really doesn't matter where we are, you know, as long as God is in, in, in a place, in this place, when two or three are gathered, that's all that matters. We could be at, at the park or under a bridge or whatever it might be. Um, but God is faithful. And um, if you guys would want, like to be a part of what we do, whether it's in the elderly homes or whether it's serving senior citizens in the elderly home through music, or if you would like to volunteer at the health fair that's coming up, 
uh, to just move tables or um, we have some sign we have just some uh, sheets outside that uh, you could uh, put your name down and a, f and a contact and um, we would contact you and so that you could get involved and we can um, together uh, make this neighborhood a much better place and uh, it already is this is an amazing neighborhood and um, uh, I hope that uh, uh, we can uh, we can be a city on a hill we can be a light uh, in this place um, so thank you guys once again so much um, I just want to share with you guys this song um, it's called The More I Seek You and, um, give it to Zach Tabak everybody on the piano just um, about just falling in love with Jesus and just um, seeking him in, in this place. It's more than I can stand. 